Hi, I'm Bob. We often have continuous variables and categorical variables in our research. If we are interested in the interaction effect between a continuous variable and a categorical variable on the outcome, we can use the margins plot to visualize the effect. For example, in the dataset for the U.S. workers, we are interested in two variables, the log of parents' income and the parents' marital status. The log of parents' income is a continuous variable. It ranges from 74 to 13. The parents' marital status is a categorical variable. It takes on two values, 0 and 1. It's equal to 1 if parents maintained married status during the worker's childhood, 0 otherwise. It measures the childhood family structure of the workers. Suppose we are curious about how the parents' income and marital status affect the workers' wages. We regress log wage on log parent income and marital status. We add the interaction term between them to investigate the interaction effects. Here is the regression result. To illustrate the interaction effects of the parents' income and marital status on the adult child's wages, we draw the margins plots. There are two ways to visualize the effects. One is to show the predictions of the workers' wages from the model and to show how the predictive values change with parents' income and marital status. The second way to visualize the result is to draw the marginal effect of each expenditure variable and see how it changes with another variable. Let me show you one by one. First, Let's draw the predictions of workers' wages. It's the fitted values from the OLS model. We use the margins command to calculate the predictions. We type margins and the option at. Inside the round bracket, we put the range of the parents' income and marital status. Be careful of how many brackets we use. Then we type margins plot. Here is the margins plot, and we can modify the options for the margins plot to make it look better. I add titles for the graph and both axes. I add the grid lines on the x axis. The color and pattern of the two lines and markers could also be specified. Here we are. We see that the workers' wages are positively correlated with their parents' income. But wages increase at different speed for workers from intact families and for those from non-intact families. The parents' income has a larger effect on their adult child's wages. If the parents maintain their marriage, we also observe that the adult children who grew up in intact families unsignificantly more than their counterparts from non-intact families when the log parental income is above 9. Below that, they are not statistically different from each other. We can obtain the same margins plot using the following command. We write a categorical variable, the trichoid family structure, after the margins plot command and before the comma. The second way to visualize the interaction effect is to illustrate the marginal effect directly. To do so, we need to use the margins command with the dydx option first. Let's obtain the two marginal effects of parental income on workers' wages for the two trichoid family structures. Then we type margins plot. Here's the margins plot for the marginal effects. 
the graph looks better with titles and without the connecting line. The above is the marginal effect of parents' income on workers' wages for two different trichofamily structures. We can visualize the marginal effect of family structure on the workers' wages for different parental income. To do that, we write the family structure variable, which is the parent's marital status, inside the dy dx bracket. Then we use the add option to specify the points to calculate the marginal effects. We use the margins plot to draw the graph. I add the titles and draw a horizontal line where the marginal effect equals zero. The color and the pattern of the margins plot could be modified. Here's the graph for the marginal effect of growing up in a two-parent household on the adult child's earnings. It increases with parental household income. Today's video will conclude the part of graphics using Stata. I will get back to the estimation methods and regression models in the next video. See you tomorrow.